YouTube, what they do, man? It's your boy, King Zay. Know what I'm saying? King Zay. Back with another reaction video, man. Today, we got the toxic life of a full-time streamer. Now, I thought this was going to be a bit about speed, because speed was on the thumbnail. But I don't know who this is. So I'm guessing just the top of life, literally, just the streamers in general, like Twitch streamers. But, uh, man, let's just figure this. Let's figure it out. Let's find it. Let's get straight to it. Chat was being toxic. Bro, hold on, man. Oh, you know, I'm in the study room, bro. People act like they've never seen a fine chocolate man before. Like, they just peeping through. Like, you can come in if you want. Y'all want to come in? Yeah, they playing. Towards toast. And 12 year old little army of toxic losers. Literally stop spamming. You ruin the chat, bro. Put your account on private pussy because it's about to get toxic. Yeah, dog, boy. Live streaming has always had a culture of toxicity, whether it's coming from the streamer. Yeah, the SWAT. Uh, my, I'm gonna eat SWAT so I'm not back in the day. That was crazy. Uh, bitch, you're so stupid. Or the audience. Die! 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 Love you, Speed. You Just die! What does he have? Bre it makes sense why he's so scared. Oh my God, I'm about to kill my fucking self! Ah! 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 My goodness, bro! Yeah. This is that's a little oh, much. God, I'm about to, oh God, I'm about to go insane on my mama, bro. Oh God, I'm about to go. He was doing this with 11k subscribers, so. This, I'm thinking, I'm thinking he, was, he would be doing that to put on the show. Maybe he, I don't know. I don't say Does everybody shut up? Twitch, being the largest platform for live streaming, grew 83% in 2020 because of everyone stuck at home. Other live streaming mm -hmm. platforms had big growth during this time as well. And a number I, of stream. I wish I started my YouTube over Corona, but man, bro. It is what it is, man. We still on the grind. The grizzly. Streamers have become millionaires during this time. But in order to make those millions, there's a bit of a sacrifice Put in that they have time. to make. My name is Patrick CC. Make sure you're drinking water while you're watching this video. In 2021, Ooh, Aiden Ross and yeah, iShow Speed became two of the biggest streamers on the internet. By the way, Speed streams on YouTube. Both streamers have yeah. somewhat similar styles. Being an average guy, streaming and chatting to their audience in their yeah, bedroom, while sus. occasionally playing video games or reacting to other content. Also, a big part of Aiden, Speed, and many other streamers' content is reading TTS messages. TTS stands for text-to-speech, and it's when viewers can pay a certain amount of money and a robot voice will read their message they type to the streamer and to the audience. So what's all the hype about? <laughs> Wait, Aiden, well, things me? can get out of control pretty quickly. <laughs> Okay, so maybe right off the My bat you're thinking this is fake, that like they're playing some sort of character. And I might agree with you, but honestly, I don't know. Yo, because a lot of the times it seems like these creators them? are being controlled by their chat. Why am, I, why am I not loved by my own chat, bro? It just makes me like not want to f***ing stream. I feel you. Like, like, you we're right. just doing L's when I was reacting to this NBA video that seemed very interesting. But it can get even worse. I say you're a really inspirational guy and I look up to all just playing you bald-headed mid-jet bus. Stop calling me that! You would imagine that most of the people watching these streamers are fans. So why would they do this to someone that they like? Well, simply because it gets a reaction. Whether it's from the creator or other people in the chat. Kind of like that kid who was in your class and would always talk back to the teacher and say rude things and three people would laugh but everyone else thinks this kid is so fucking annoying thousands of those kids are in live stream chats but it seems yeah, like these streamers okay. want that toxicity in their chats take this streamer by the name of deller for example he will stream for hours and leave the text to speech on knowing damn well the messages are going to be extremely toxic racist and out of control No, 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 I'm not pausing no ad. I'm trying to skip it. Sometimes I put Cheeto dust on my and grandma fucks it because she loves Cheetos. Mods. On her grandma, what? What is that supposed to say? So, what? Mods, 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 mods. My stepsister has such a tight little. This is unfiltered, unmodded harassment. 
That's and it crazy. can be prevented to some degree. Specific words or sayings can be banned from people being able to type them. Now I know you get it. You cannot control what other people say and do. There are thousands of commenters partaking in this toxic behavior. If you sat there and tried to ban everyone, yeah. you'd lose all your viewers. However, it seems like these streamers are willing to put up with this because one, it's making them money, and two, people are sharing it on social media, which is making them more poppin', driving viewers up, and ultimately making them more money. So yeah. Aiden, Speed, and other streamers have allowed the chat to make fun <laughs> of them and way. bully them, <laughs> whether it's through the chat or through TTS. Because whether you love them or actually don't like them, it's always funny to see someone freak out through a computer screen. <laughs> Yes, that is Speed barking when he gets angry. Mm. And it's not just these two. Pretty much all live streamers have to deal with keyboard warriors to some degree. It just depends on how you handle it. Some people handle it in a very pleasant and respectable way. Is chat being toxic towards my friends that I choose to play with? Hmm? Bad chat. <laughs> Over a video game? But the fact is, guys, uh, me and my friends are playing, so I just ask that you guys respect how we want to play. Now, when you handle it in the nice way, that's not fun to watch. I mean, come yeah, on, nah. nobody wants to they be taught want a toxic. lesson. Yeah, it's like thanks. I'm listening to my friend's mom discipline me, and I don't want to they hear want that, that shit. Angry reaction. But when you get angry and start screaming, yeah, yeah that's the good stuff. Consistently raging is obviously going to encourage people to push the streamer's limits and try to get them to freak out. Yeah. Anyone can notice that. So it seems like many streamers allow this to happen because yeah, it makes their community hurts. happy. Yeah, their suffering makes other people happy. Now remember, for the most part, chat will copy the behavior of the streamer. Who is that? These nuts in your mouth! <laughs> hey, 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 shut the f*** up! Shut your ass up! So if Speed does this to other people, the chat will inevitably do it back to him. The only problem is, he might not be in the mood for that. It's kind of like Speed and many other streamers are okay with toxicity as long as it's when they decide. Every single one of you, even the one that people that, people that tweet at me, say ratio and soft and Elden and fucking all this I pray that you guys experience what i experienced bro but when the chat tries to control what the streamer does that's when they freak out i guess yeah. the only real way to combat this is to just set the precedent that you aren't taking any sh from the chat like from day one you have to be kind of like the dictator i'm doing what i want and if you don't like it then leave. leave but that yeah. doesn't make for a strong community Thanks. communities are about bro, sharing and working together and you collaboration so when you build a toxic community and they want you to bully someone on the internet today but you don't want to, now you're the one that's gonna get bullied because yeah. they need to let off some steam. Then again, you could argue that these freakouts aren't even real. Maybe some streamers actually don't care. They just have rage moments because the viewers like it. And yep. the chat thinks they have true. the control, but it's really the streamer who's giving them what they want, yep. making the streamer in control the whole time, which would be even more of a 600 IQ growth strategy. Also, let me make this clear because it isn't obvious. There's a difference between viewers and chat. As a streamer myself, I know that about 70 to 80% of the people watching are not typing in the chat. The overwhelming majority of the people who watch streamers don't participate in chat. I'd be willing to bet that most viewers also get really mad when their favorite streamer is being controlled or freaking out at the keyboard warriors. That's like if you're watching a movie and yeah. one guy won't stop talking, so the manager that. comes in. But the keyboard warriors would go crazy in Illuminati chat, but I used to watch Twitch, and then bro would just in stream. Cause it and stops the whole movie just to deal with Say that one that. person. All right, it's a little different, but you get what I'm saying there. Because the streamer doesn't know how the viewers are feeling. They can only gauge it based on what they read in the comments. So if they see a wall of L's, that's only 15% of the people. Maybe the rest of the people actually like what they're doing. But these things start to weigh heavily on a streamer. Aiden is a great example of a person who openly welcomed the toxicity from the chat because of the financial gain and popularity it brought him. I think he actually liked being the butt of the joke while he was rising to the star he is now. When he was hanging out with rappers, he allowed them to kind of pick on him. Yep. And in a charismatic way, he shrugged it off. But when he did this live stream with Blueface, it went a little too far. <laughs> hey, he's trying to make him sit in anyway. Even DDG yeah. had to tell him, Demand the fuck You didn't help me out. I'm not supposed to help you. Why? You're a grown ass man. Thanks. You wasn't even, your, you was not existing in your stream. You gotta stand up for yourself. He can't be there with you all the time. That's what I'm saying, uh, bro. You gotta be a man. Like, 
But that stream went mega viral. It was on every rap media outlet, all over TikTok and YouTube. It arguably got him to Rolling Loud and in various Lyrical Lemonade music videos. Yeah, yeah, I mean, dude, just a little nice. bit of bullying ultimately allowed him to shine brighter than ever. But again, yeah, this takes a toll on him. Now we see a more talk, real side of him. Dude. There's only so much you can deal with before you need to take a break. It doesn't matter how much money you're making. He's talked about quitting streaming multiple times, and I'm not sure if this is clickbait or not. I and it seems it like every other week people push help, I Show Speed to his limits, which end up with him crying on stream or crying Especially in a video, out shaking out of pure frustration and anger over the way his chat treats him. Unfortunately for Speed, this won't stop happening bro. unless he stops encouraging that behavior and also partaking in that behavior. I mean, at some point you gotta say enough is enough. Almost all streamers do have that breaking point. The point where they cannot allow this negativity or toxicity to control them anymore. Most of the time their viewership drops when they either take a break or make it obvious they won't be dealing with it anymore. It's not like they fall off or lose all their viewers. They still have a huge fan base. That strong core fan base has already been built and the monetary benefits from that is still fruitful which makes it seem like encouraging toxic behavior, allowing yourself to get bullied, freaking out and raging often, Bro, and getting pushed to your limits doing, while your man. sanity is almost completely lost is the ultimate live streamer marketing strategy. Then when you wheel it back, mature a bit, I guess, and make it very obvious that you aren't allowing the chat to be toxic anymore, all of these keyboard demons go away because they can't control you anymore. And you end up with a very stable, consistent, positive community that wants to see you happy and successful a large enough community to live off of and have a stable live streaming career either that or live streaming will just actually make you go insane you let me know what you think the official the patrick yours. cc water bottle is now available oh, on my web 50 percent. yeah man no cap hey to all y'all streamers out there future streamers watching this video man man you decide from day one what you gonna tolerate what you gonna have in your stream man after day one, the nigga used to it, man. You can't change up. No cap. But yeah, man. Uh, that'll do it. This is a nice ad, nice ad vid. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up so I know this video can get out to other people in the algorithm. And uh, comment down below what videos I want to see next. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. Roll to 100. Let's get it. Peace.